Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for July 25th, 2019. So as these earnings continue to roll out, the bulls continue to be, get very, very inspired, uh, moving us to new record highs in the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ yesterday. Just tremendous effort. Uh, to push these markets higher and higher and higher. So let's take a look at what's going on. First off on the diamonds here, this is the only index that really, um, well, struggling just a little bit and rightfully so. Now, first off, we, we are still maintaining a trend. There's no doubt about it. Trends are still in effect. There is no reason to believe that that is going to change anytime soon. Um, with the bulls pushing as hard as they are. But interestingly enough, with the big disappointing earnings in Caterpillar yesterday and the um, huge loss reported by Boeing, which really wasn't a big surprise, that actually places the Dow in the negative, the overall, if you take the entire average, the overall average of... Um, the Dow in the negative earnings column for this quarter. So it's actually a little bit surprising that we're holding up this strongly with that in mind. Everything is just being drawn to the upside. Nothing, nothing wants to move lower. And if you take a look here, if we can get a little more bullish action and pop through that resistance right there, there's blue sky above here on the diamonds. And you can notice that the Dow is actually looking at a gap up open this morning. Nothing seems to matter right now except going higher. And um, if we were to get some selling coming into play, one of the things we don't want to see is the drop below these two tails right here. If we were to slip down below this area, that would be a bit of a concern. However, we do have a significant level of price support right through here to catch us if we do start slipping down, maybe breaking that trend. So even then, nothing terrible going on here in uh, the Dow. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, breaking new highs, just moving on up. Can't seem to find any reason to slow this down whatsoever. The bulls are extremely happy here, moving through to the upside. Breaking that resistance to the high, you can see we have more upside. This is blue sky above. That line actually up there doesn't mean anything. Blue sky above and um, all you know all systems seem to go to move higher and you can see this morning SPY also looking for just a slightly higher move this morning as we head toward um, the morning open. Now there is a lot of earnings today so that could change significantly as we move toward the open but let's keep in mind that we're looking really really strong and I don't think we have too much to worry about overall unless we were to slip below this level right in here. If we slip below here then we will have some worries. We'll break that trend possibly even be pulling back in that situation back into these levels of price support. But right now that doesn't seem to be at all in jeopardy, um, just looking upside in the market. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues also new record breaking highs, smashing through that resistance with a very strong move up yesterday, holding on to just, I mean, clinging on to this. We were worried of that failure the, um, just a few days ago. Now we're making new record highs. Trend remains strong here in the queues, holding up very well. And with blue sky above and support right in here, uh, there doesn't seem to be any clues at the moment of moving lower. And those Facebook earnings yesterday, um, actually should help give this even a little bit more lift um, today. So keep an eye on that. Now here's the interesting one, IWM, that has just been uh, a dismal um, overall, and it's been that way since, since October of last year, um, holding in this downtrend. All of a sudden, yesterday, for no apparent reason, um, IWM got inspired to rally and it really rallied up 1.65%, breaking this downtrend. Now, 
I really should redraw that downtrend just a little bit. I'm not trying to be super accurate with that. Now the question is, can it hold it as support? So for example, we've done this before where we've popped up through, but we've been unable to hold it as support. So now the next test IWM needs to make is prove that we can stay up here. If we pull back, hold this downtrend as support, and then find buyers, we could have some nice upside coming here in IWM. Of course, if it cannot hold, if we drift right back down, then that would just be another failure at price resistance. And we've been doing that in IWM for some time now. So let's watch that closely. Um, IWM could have some inspiration coming into it uh, based on these earnings reports. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now I gotta be honest with you, the VIX is really beginning to give me some concern. And that is complacency. Complacency is when the market just has no fear. Everybody's buying with both hands. And um, we reach a point where we kind of, well, we just kind of run out of energy. And I'm, I'm beginning to get a little bit worried here about this with the VIX um, looking like it will dip into an 11 handle here, um, uh, possibly even this morning. Now we have price support in this area and we'll have to watch that closely. And as you can see, this actually is forming just this big giant wedge. We could continue to wander around in here for a while. This doesn't mean imminent fall or anything like that. I don't want to suggest that, but I am beginning to get a little bit worried that complacency in the market is becoming um, a bit extreme. And we want, we'll have to kind of keep our eyes focused here on the VIX. If we start receiving some bad earnings reports, if something starts to occur, raising some fear, let's watch this um, uh, real closely here. Now, once again, I'm going to say that I don't think this is going to be a major problem, even if we move up and test this area, because that's our downtrend. We're going to have to break through there, and we're going to have to prove to hold it as support. That's where the real trouble of the market will begin. So let's keep an eye on it. It's it's a ways off. It could be a long ways off, as a matter of fact, but let's keep an eye on that. We don't want to get caught in that uh, complacency move because they tend to be very strong when they occur. Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And now we're moving right back up here pretty darn solidly moving up. And this morning, we're looking at least at this point at, um, at a gap up of around 50 points here in the Dow. That's going to put us in a situation where we could be up here in that bearish reversal zone. And you can see this indicator is actually <laughs> as accurate and consistent as about anything I've ever find. We reach up into this area and that's where we find selling. That's where profit taking starts to come in. Now there are times, and we've seen one right over here, where we can move up into this area and just stay up here for a while, bounce around. And that could be the case in an earnings environment where we just stay up here. If those earnings continue to come in better than expected, we could just stay up here and linger around up here. But we always have to be thinking about that possibility that profit takers could come in soon and be watching that closely. So as we push up in here, I'm beginning to get more and more cautious about chasing uh, trades uh, already within their moves or r racing into trades and beginning to think more and more about peeling some profits out and uh, maybe um, circling the wagons here for uh, and watching pretty closely in case there is a uh, profit taking move that begins here soon. But of course, earnings can change that dramatically. So I don't want to put any fear out there suggesting that, oh my gosh, we're, we're at imminent danger. I'm not trying to predict that at all. Uh, not even a little bit. I'm just suggesting that there is some reason to be paying attention here and be thinking about taking some of those profits if we start to see signs of um, the, those reversals or pullback. Unfortunately, around earnings, those things can occur overnight. So if you have those good profits, maybe start putting some of them in the bank and uh, protecting some of that capital. Let's take a look at... Um, 
our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar is a pretty heavy day today with durable goods orders coming out here at 8.30 a.m., you can see. And we have international trading goods as well as jobless claims this morning. So we have a pretty big morning here, right here at 8.30 um, a.m. Eastern in reports. So we'll want to watch that morning um, in there. I don't think we're expecting anything bad out of these reports. Just, just for note, I, I think they're likely to remain quite strong. Um, and that begs the question, what does that mean for rate cut? If all of our economic indicators, earnings continue to look good, everything continues to look good. What does that mean for our rate cut? Um, possibility later this month. Let's take a look at, um, we also have a Fed balance sheet later on this afternoon. We have natural gas report here, but I don't expect those to move the market at all. So just keep in mind that they are on the list for today. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day of trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube? Um, and then click that bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, guys, um, the purpose of these videos is not to predict anything. It's really to help everyone think about the issues of the day, how you might want to prepare for the day, thinking about those things that could be coming around um, and, and removing all of the hype and all of the prediction and just say, let's, let's see what the price is, is, is showing us. I believe in this, that I believe that preparation is far more important than luck. And I believe price is king. And if we learn to follow read price action and follow that price action in a chart, we will do much, much better in our trading. If you agree, if you find these videos helpful, could you please do me a favor, click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You don't have to leave a big long comment. Feel free to if you'd like to, but just a, a brief comment, even a thumbs up or a, a smiley face would be uh, all we need for a comment in there. And that helps these algorithms show these videos to more folks. Also, everyone, please, these videos, everything on my YouTube channel is available uh, for free for anyone. So if you find a video particularly helpful, please feel free to share it on Facebook, share it on your Twitter feed, um, reach out there for more, more folks that might be interested in this material. Um, I'm working to help you and um, you're helping me with those thumbs up and sharing this information. And who knows, we may reach that next person that we help turn their trading around uh, by you sharing that information. So thank you very much to those who do that. So with that, let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up for potential trades. One of them um, came up yesterday that was really special. And by the way, any any uh, chart I share here is not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. It is a merely a chart that, um, to put up for evaluation for you to watch and keep an eye on for a potential uh, position. And as you can see here, um, Visa, Visa had a beautiful move yesterday after their earnings report, moving up solidly, breaking through this resistance and looking great. So Visa looks fantastic here. And um, I, would I would expect this to continue that positive movement up. Now, keep in mind that because it moves so far so quickly uh, to the upside, don't be too surprised if it gets a little pullback or consolidation that moves back over here to the trend. Just kind of keep that in mind. That is always possible. Just a little rest, those kind of things happen in um, in those charts so watch that carefully another chart you might want to keep an eye on is microsoft microsoft making a move yesterday pushing up higher now remember microsoft had a really good earnings report and we ended up with this pop and drop pattern on that earnings day but we didn't get any follow through to that downside move and now everything is pushing to the upside now of course we have some big tech earnings today like um, uh, amazon reporting today that could certainly affect big tech like uh, microsoft but this is looking pretty darn positive and looking strong so you might want to watch this for that potential of a trade how about lulu Lulu really got it going. Those stretchy pants, boy, they really moving things along. And you can see 
um, Lulu really firing up, breaking uh, breaking through um, this little downtrend right here, looking strong, nice bullish candle, maybe some opportunity for Lulu to move on higher. Um, STZ, you guys know I've been talking about STZ for a while. STZ breaking through yesterday, showing bullishness. Now, we have to keep in mind there is some price resistance in the chart here. But with the bullishness of the market, um, this could easily continue to move on higher. Now, do keep in mind that we have the possibility that this could consolidate still over toward the trend before it actually moves up. But let's watch this and keep a close eye on it. Um, anything is possible here in STZ. Let's watch it pretty closely. How about some of these airlines? Oh my goodness, UAL looking really, really good here. Airlines moving up in a nice, beautiful, controlled trend and really setting up for more upside here. You can see as we just, this is just one of those charts that I call um, a ste uh, stepper, where we move up, step up, move up, step up, move up, step up. And so um, stairway to heaven, right? Um, popping this thing and just continuing to move on up. So watch UAL and some of the other airline stocks um, looking actually quite good overall. Take a look at that Apple. Apple moving in toward its earnings report here on the 30th, so you got to be careful with that. But Apple holding this downtrend break, looking really, really good firing up higher and ended up remaining nice and positive yesterday like that chart looking very very good how about restoration hardware restoration hardware i've been talking about this one for a while in the morning videos and you can see yesterday it finally popped that alert moving on through and restoration hardware has some upside potential here so keep that one in mind looking very very strong looking solid here as it uh, continues to move up. And last but not least, I'm gonna talk about Roku this morning. Now Roku is one of those charts where we just get so much back and forth, it's really hard to know what to do here. And that's one of the reasons why I use price alerts. Um, so first off, we broke down below this support. Um, and, but yesterday, the bulls fought right back and bring us right back up into this area. So we want to continue to watch this, um, watch this pattern. You can see I've placed a price alert right here on the chart. And if this were to follow through and move on through popping through that, um, that alert, then I think there is possibility of more upside here in Roku. Keep an eye on that. It's looking pretty strong um, as it moves along here. And Right now, the bulls just don't want to be denied. They don't want to see anything moving lower, and um, that is looking good. And by the way, you know these are uh, these are not a surprise. You know I've been bringing these charts up over and over and over. Remember, I was bringing up Car over here. Car had that push down, and then they the bulls came right back in, pushed it back, and you can see the results of those kind of moves. Um, really, really bullish here in the market, and these moves continue to impress, pushing us higher. So keep an eye on these charts. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all the very best day um, and great profits. And if you can please remember to do me a favor, click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You guys mean the world to me. I truly, truly appreciate you taking the time to do that. Thank you so much. Everyone, have a great day. We'll see you all bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one.